Literally 50% plus one person committed an act of treason against the American people today by voting to renew the FISA warrants. I really thought that it might be dead. I, turns out, was wrong. It does happen. I'm sorry, guys. House passes FISA renewal without added warrant mandate for U.S. data. There was drama on the House floor as progressives voted with conservatives to support the warrant mandate that ultimately failed. It was a tied vote. The Speaker doesn't usually vote in the House of Representatives, unless there is a tie to break. He broke the tie in favor of warrantless spying on American people in violation of the Fourth Amendment. Uh, A bill to renew a key federal government surveillance tool passed the House of Representatives on Friday, teeing it up for a Senate vote about a week before it's set to expire. A modified version of the original bill passed a procedural hurdle late on Thursday after a group of 19 conservative uh, privacy hawks uh, sunk the House GOP's chance at passing it earlier this week. Uh, The legislation is aimed at reforming Section 702 of the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, which allows the government to surveil foreigners abroad with suspected terror links without a warrant, which they use to uh, surveil Americans without a warrant because literally anyone is five degrees away from literally everyone else on the planet. And they can use those five degrees to say that you are suspected of being linked to terrorism and therefore they can spy on you without a warrant, even though you are an American citizen inside American uh, soil. Section 702 allows the FBI to collect communications of a narrow list of foreign targets. It's not narrow. They say it's narrow, but anyone who actually says it's narrow is either lying or stupid. Uh, even if the person on the other end of the uh, suspect's communication is an American. The battle over its renewal has put Johnson in a tough spot between privacy and national security uh, hawks within his conference, while he also navigates a razor-thin majority of just two seats. By the way, he, before he was speaker, was opposed to the warrantless bit of FISA. And then he became speaker of the House and had a meeting with the FBI. And now he's aware of how crucial that is to our national security. Meaning, they either showed him the JFK film, or they showed him whatever dirt they have on him, and either way, blackmailed him into supporting it. He is corrupted. He is, he's been gut. He's bought and paid for. He is a traitor to the United States people. And he's a terrible piece of shit. They say that they're going to um, address the, uh, I don't know exactly where it is. Let's see, a modified, or the modified legislation that shrinks uh, 702 authorization uh, window from five years to two years. That's, that's okay. Where was it? Uh, oh, they, they say that um, the conservatives' concerns about that standalone vote on the, uh, the warrantless thing. Um, They say that that's going to come up for a vote at some point in the future. But they had to reauthorize FISA as it was first. It's not going to happen. They betrayed you because they're traitors. Speaker Johnson is about to meet with Donald Trump at uh, Mar-a-Lago as well. After Donald Trump said that FISA should go away, he betrayed the man he's about to meet. Trump is expected to give Johnson his backing as House Speaker. Donald Trump, you should change your mind. You should use the word traitor when you say that he is uh, he no longer has your support. Speaker Mike Johnson will meet with President Trump at his Mar-a-Lago estate on Friday. That's today as the embattled House leader faces a threat to his speakership from Trump loyalist Rep. Marjorie Taylor Greene. Johnson and Trump have already been at odds on the House passing an additional 60 billion dollars to Ukraine, uh, which Johnson has for months declined to allow the House to vote on uh, legislation already passed by the Democratic led Senate. Trump had previously stated that he would end the war within 24 hours. That doesn't matter. Trump also encouraged GOP lawmakers to successfully kill reauthorizing FISA, which Johnson betrayed Trump and the American people on, um, a measure Johnson backed. The Speaker is set to try again to push the measure through the House. This was before that previous article we wrote. Meanwhile, earlier this month, Green authored a resolution to force the House to take a vote of no confidence in the Speaker. Uh, Green railed at Johnson for negotiating spending bills with Democrats and foregoing the GOP's internal rule requiring 72 hours of voting on legislation. She is also a staunch opponent of providing more aid to Ukraine. Green and Johnson met on uh, Wednesday with Green saying she is still fr- 
frustrated with the Speaker's handling of several hot-button issues. Nevertheless, nevertheless, Trump is expected to back the leadership of Johnson, who defended the former president in two impeachment trials. I wonder what those chances are now that Johnson has stabbed Donald Trump and the American people in the back. It's 100% legal to mock and belittle and laugh at elected representatives. Just so you know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't send threats to anyone ever. That's a crime. Then head over to my Locals page, thearthurnext.locals.com, where you'll get exclusive content, including the link to my Gilded server, where my community is, uh, well, it's where we hang out on the internet. Till next time, thanks for watching.